What's up, folks? Southeast Southwash. We are not in Roanoke. On the road again. On the road again. <laughs> Dear, uh, we are at a Loves somewhere in Georgia on the way to Savannah, Georgia. We're doing something very special. So, you guys know, let's go back here behind the truck. We're stopping to get diesel. Take a look at how much freaking diesel is. $5.48 a gallon. Good Lord. Got the truck, all right, but we're not washing today. I'm a little overdressed for washing. We're delivering, we're delivering this beast of a system right here to Mike Vidan, one of our buddies. So Mike's, we're sort of business partners with Mike uh, on some things, some of the training events, and Mike purchased his trailer from us. It's been in the queue for a little while and we're taking it to him. Now, don't expect us to deliver your trailer. Uh, <laughs> if you get a trailer, we will not be taking it to you, but we are gonna run it over here to Mike. He's in Savannah. Savannah's about four and a half hours away. We're gonna make a little trip out of it. So. This is a pretty unique trailer. It's got a 24 volt system on the front. It's also got the first real big deal hose reel on the 24, of course the 12 volt, uh, eight gallon a minute T-splitter running two four gallons or one eight gallon at a time and a Smart Blend Pro up here. This one's really unique because as far as the only other one that's ever had a Smart Blend blending a 24 volt is our personal work truck there. So Mike's getting kind of the only other one of those out there. So. Come along for the ride. Let's go see if he likes it. All right, guys. Just pulled up here in Mike's neighborhood. We're over in Savannah. It's about a five-hour drive for us. Mike's in a nice neighborhood, right? Yeah. Hey, Mike ain't doing too bad out here. Oh, uh, there he is. There he is. Let's go see what the... Uh, and we already know that already the trailer's know. This, this, piece of crap, but dumb. hopefully he won't notice that. One of us has got to turn off the... Uh, the I'll turn off the camera. Turn the kit. All right, he's filming. We're filming. What's going on? Hey, I'm Mike. This is all about pressure washing. And today, in this video, we're going to be talking about a brand new trailer that Cody got. For hey. Look at this thing. Okay, Let's take this, a look. Is, this is by far one of the best um, arrivals that's come to my house in a, in a really long time. I guess about 11 years ago when my daughter was born. But like, this is number two. This is number one. Well, yeah, this is number two <laughs> since that. No, this is number one since then. This is absolutely beautiful, man. Look at this thing. I'll tell you what, let me hand the phone off to Dusty. We'll flip the camera around and go over it real quick. Absolutely. We're back. Uh, Mike's been waiting on this trailer a little while and we uh, brought it over here to him today. So we'll walk through it. Very similar to some of our other trailers. Pretty much the same as our, our standard trailer build. But he's got some key differences that he's kind of, you know, what's well, Mike? You know, so he's getting a little, a little bougie in this right here. That's right. And I can't wait to get this thing out and start washing some stuff. This is... Uh, this is outstanding, so show me. Show All right, me so let, I'll show him, and you guys can just see it at the same time. We have been out here playing around for a second. I'll, you'll see the, the ground's a little wet. We were priming up the system, uh, but we'll start at the front. So our standard trailer, we've got a dual battery bank. Now, he's got a 24-volt system. He's also running a smart blend, which needs a 24-volt system. So these batteries provide both 12 and 24 for their respective pumps. Uh, so that's pretty cool. He's also got some storage space in there. One little key thing we do that just helps out in the field, and Mac will appreciate this. Mac, if you see this, you'll like this. Oh, Mac is Mac is so excited. He's about this life. <laughs> yeah. When I told him that uh, when when I told him that we were getting this, um, he said, uh, "I'm getting it right. Like <laughs> I'm getting it." And I was like, "Good man." He called dibs on yep, it. He got. So it. we put these uh, circuit breakers in here. All right, that's a 20 amp for the 12 volt. This one over here is a 30 amp for the 24 volt. All right, so. We've done our little modification here on this 24 volt and deleted that motor shield sensor, which I think is a good idea on paper. Basically, it gives you false shut off. So we just deleted that for him so his guys won't have to worry about it out in the field. Along with that, you're also deleting the fuse. So we put the circuit breaker in there so you've still got the protection, but the guys don't have to keep fuses on the truck. They can just reset the circuit breaker if it trips. Same thing for the 12. These rim codes don't come with any kind of fuse protection so we got to do that anyway for the 12 volt got the Remco there of course we got the uh, smart blend pro right here remote controls in there so now they can remote control their kims low medium and high on soap and one through six on the bleach now this one is special our truck and this one are the only two uh, there's actually one other guy in montgomery alabama that got a 24 volt capable system uh, smart blend system so He's blending the 24 volt side. The standard manifold over here is for the 12 volt. So, my, Mac, you got options. You guys, if you want to get in on a trailer like this, you got options. You can blend, uh, you can use it on the 12 or the 24 volt. We just got to know that in advance. So we build it specifically. So, knowing what you know, as long as you've been washing, you've been washing how long? As long as I've been alive? Yeah, 20, 20 years, <laughs> 20 plus years now. How cool is that, though? 
Uh, it's ridiculous. I mean, th this this is a game changer, right? This is going to save us so much time. It just makes things a lot easier. And the remote control, uh, I mean, it's it's dummy proof, right? Not that we have dummies, but like there's some dummies out there that need to be dummy proofed. Yeah. But this, I mean, it, it's blend manifolds can get kind of confusing, honestly. Yeah. And uh, I get questions about it all the time. This simplifies everything, and then also allows you not to have to run around. Uh, and just the time savings alone is what's going to make this. Yeah, through. this is this is huge, man. This the is only awesome. thing I don't love about it is how we have to run these hoses. This is the only way it's going to work. So this is kind of non-tidy for us, but it's fine. It doesn't look bad. Um, moving on down, now you've also got something else that's the first of its kind. This is Mike. All right, so he's got the first real big deal. Uh, there's another one that's out there. One of my trailer guys, Graham, if you see this, he... He begged and pleaded and bought our first prototype. This is our second prototype. They came to us at the same time. But this is our 18 inch reel. Of course, with the 24 volt, you're running a 5 8 uh, hose right there. We do like the Flexzilla for this. It doesn't matter, just pick your 5 8 hose and run with it. Uh, but it's got a three quarter inch inner manifold, so you don't have that restriction of a half inch. It's not a big deal, guys. You can run that little short one foot span. It's not gonna kill you, but we did wanna offer the larger uh, three-quarter inch innards here on this real big deal and it does have more capacity obviously I just I just realized I think I got prototypes of the real you did. deal you so did. I got some of the first real deals when I they think came out you got the first real deal I think so yeah and now I got this one and these are the gen 2 real deals right um, you definitely can see a difference pans are a little different we've got the reinforcement rib uh, doing some welding on the inside to just kind of sturdy some of this up a little bit more uh, we've been using this Gen 2 real deal now, I guess, since about February. Just an improvement. Always making improvements, right? So, 12-volt stuff here. These are goosebumps. Goosebumps. That's that's a real thing. I'm I, So, I've always built my own trailers. Always. And I've always taken great pride in the fact that I've built my own trailers. And the first time I saw one of Cody's trailers was at WashCon. Yeah. And just blew my mind, right? Just everything. And, and well, we're, even down to, like, the... The yeah, coating the coating on it. Like my stuff is going to be my my trailers are rusted. They're fine. Yeah, it's you know you do as good a job as a guy's going to do, and is right. you know not doing this every day. Yeah, but but man, just seeing this this in person in front of my house just is is so amazing, man. I, I, this is absolutely amazing, and the, all the new uh, shooter. What do we call these? Tall reach tip shooter. The tall tip. reach shooter tip. Um, um, and I've had a couple of these, and they're working great, but. Man, when you see what this 24 volt can do, it's gonna blow your mind. Pretty like, impressive. It's like a pressure washer. It's pretty close. You get that burst pressure when you first open the wand. I think this is prime, but um, on the fan spray, it's, it doesn't reveal it like it does. If you take this off and pop that concrete, yeah. it's like, you know, it, yeah. it'll knock down. We use it to knock down wasp nests and dirt dauber nests and stuff like that, because you get that extra punch. Right. Um, moving down, we've got, so we do have some logos here, all right. Right. inner circle sticker and this sticker here is from our richard uh, is our shop guy that builds our pressure washers i told him i said hey throw you a sticker on there for your channel because mike's going to be out there cranking out videos mike may pull this off but until he does you're going to get some uh it's going to be on there. um this is cool so talk you know what this is tell them about this the two the two uh oh yeah this is this is something that i saw over at um over at uh at washcon and so we've got an eight gallon per minute machine hey, oh yeah. howdy these are customers of ours. Hey, we're bringing right. in some new, uh, new equipment. It's pretty nice. Good stuff. Yeah, good stuff. Not bad. Yeah. Excellent. It's all right. <laughs> good to see y'all. Thank yeah. you. So, um, so we've got splitters on these, right? There's a splitter over past the um, unloader, right? right? And what that does is it allows us the opportunity just to use the ball valves on the pressure washers to uh, either run two or run one off of uh, the pressure washer. So we can run basically, what? Two four gallons? Two four gallons or one eight gallon. Right. And that's awesome. Like if, you know, you saw that video that we did a month or so ago where we had that long driveway and uh, having two guys with two trailers, you know, it gets cumbersome. You're moving hoses and, and trucks and trailers around. But with this, you roll up and you just go. I mean, it basically gives you, you got to spend the money to get one pressure washer, but you get double duty out yeah. of it. Uh, we had a guy that picked up one of these, this same concept with a 10 gallon a minute, oh, nice. which was a beast. Yeah. And so he still had two five gallons, which, but this is still great. It'll run that surface cleaner. We did it for years on a four gallon. Uh, 
typically they're going to be just using one of these right. eight gallon style but if they need it they yep. can fire the other one up so it's really neat it's also got extra hose here right so if you just needed another hundred foot of hose you can uncouple and exactly. kind of steal from here go there and then put it back right let's go around to this side of the trailer of course everything is raptor lined out we do a, a lot of that and just try to in our world bleach chems you know so we try to do as much corrosion pre preventative stuff as pos as possible as is the decking yeah we also the decks pressure treated uh, but we shoot it anyway. Right. Number one, so it'll match. Number two, for extra. Yeah. Um, and this is the incoming supply line here. So you'll connect that to the customer's house, bring water to the trailer. Honestly, you guys may wind up changing this to three quarter if you want that extra, a little bit of extra flow to the trailer. Five eighths is standard for us. It's fine. But yeah. if you're sucking out of that thing a lot, you're running 24 and pressure, you may want to slap a three quarter on right. there. Uh, and then this little thing here is our sending unit. So you can just select a dial and send it where you want it to go. And we will definitely be putting a uh, big sign on the back of this sign up here. And uh, so this up here is, it's a new, I guess, a new modification to the trailers, right? Well, it's Where about it's probably a year okay. that we've been. So this, this upper piece is one inch tubing. We used to put it centered up on this, this two inch. It just looked good that way. We started bringing them out to the edge flat. So that if you guys want to run a sign down the length of the trailer, you can get you a metal sign cut, you know, that's a 10 inch tall, 12 inch tall sign. Right. And you've got all this flat that you can attach it to. So this makes an easy install there. Yeah, we'll definitely be doing that too. Of course, you got the eight gallon big gas tank, uh, bypassing back of the tanks, a belt drive unit, filter in line. So that's pretty much it. And, I mean, just, just this alone, I mean, this little, this is cool. This whole setup, the hanger system for the surface cleaner. This is a dusty design. Nice, um, good job Dusty. You know, we just drove it over from Alabama, it's about a five hour drive. It yeah. doesn't move. It's quick to throw up there. It's quick to get off. We've got this uh, latch pin in there that just, it looks good. It's yeah. little things like that that make it, it looks good. It feels right, you know, yep. and it's just not cheesy, so. Right. Yeah, and we just throw them on the back of the trailer now and that's not ideal. I mean, they get banged around and so. I'll this, tell you one thing, you'll, you'll get this instantly. I love this because I'll throw it up here and I'll rinse that out. Oh, nice. Because you've always got SH up in here from, yeah. you know, the pre-treatment, so can rinse that bad boy off and, and the also, other if you got to clean your tips right and I got hold yeah it. and the other good thing not that I'm gonna throw anybody under the bus but on occasion some of my technicians have left surface cleaners at the houses and the customers call me and say allegedly hey, allegedly <laughs> allegedly they left something and they have to go and pick it up so this is gonna save some time because you'll notice if it's not up yeah there. you're gonna see um, I've got a big blank spot yeah here. Well, man, I can't thank you enough uh, for bringing this over. This is outstanding. And you guys are gonna be seeing this on my channel all the time. Uh, Mac is gonna be very excited. I can't wait to, to show him. He's been itching to get his hands on this thing and get out there and uh, put it to good use. All right, well, all we're right. gonna go eat some seafood, I think. Yeah, that's, that's right. Dusty's never been to Savannah, so we're gonna go hit the city and uh, get us a bite to eat. We'll see you guys later.